Hello, everyone. This is Nicole Martini with Mindfulness Mondays. I'm delighted to come to you from um, Texas here. Um, I'm on my way back from the Tucson gym show back to New York and stopping here at my sister's lovely ranch. And I thought it was actually a perfect background for the topic today. We're talking about earthing and grounding and the positive um, just resources and energetics that come from that practice. And uh, yeah, here we are for our Mindfulness Monday. So earthing and grounding has been something that um, indigenous peoples and in all places throughout all the world have had um, practices around. Um, there was a much more natural connection to the earth and the earth cycles and rhythm. And, um, and we're kind of returning to that awareness here and now um, in this new era. We can talk about the new era at a different time, but this uh, era where we're a lot more awakened and a lot more connected to our humanness and our spirit and how they come together. So um, earthing and grounding is a natural natural connection to the earth, Mother Earth, Gaia. There's all these words for this connection to our planet um, that provides all of our resources, all of our um, nourishment, all of our energetic nourishment. Um, and grounding has become a very popular uh, phrase that um, anytime we're in our heads or we're overly excited or there's a lot of energy going up, everyone's like, you need to be more grounded. And sometimes we don't really unpack that word. Um, we just say, oh, come on, calm down, basically, is the energy behind that. And calming down is a very different thing than grounding, but grounding can serve us in the process of calming our nervous system and entering our more social nervous system. So that's the, that's the nervous system that we want to have more um, than 90% of the time. Uh, when I was learning about the different uh, reactions in the nervous system, the social nervous system is where we're hanging out with our friends, having a nice a glass of our favorite beverage and being chill. This state of being where we feel safe, where we feel calm, our, our guard is let down, and we are comfortable. This is where we want to be most of the time. But we have our fight or flight or freeze mechanism for when we're under threat. And unfortunately, in our modern society and our modern ways, we have entered where that fight, flight, or freeze has been mostly where we live. And that's where the stress, anxiety, adrenal fatigue, all of these kind of modern uh, chronic situations to sort of develop from is that we're constantly in a state of alert. We're constantly in a state of feeling under attack. And when we have grounding as a practice to balance that out, we can enter more of the social nervous system to where we feel safe, where we feel, well, where we feel secure, and we're not engaging with that chronic anxiety that can come up from being in our fight, flight, or freeze reaction. So grounding has a lot of practices and each um, sort of place-based people have a different tradition around it. But these are a couple of tools that I've learned that I return to all the time. And sometimes my clients just need to remember these simple tools in order to balance that nervous system and get um, rebalanced uh, in that social nervous system. So one method of grounding and we have this a little more available to us in our uh, spring, summer, and fall seasons instead of the deep winter that we're experiencing, I know uh, about to experience in the Northeast, um, is getting our hands and our feet on earth. So walking in the grass barefoot, handling potting soil inside, really actually literally earthing and getting our hands, our feet, these ends of our energy system in our human body connected to soil. And for a lot of you Hawali Farms that are watching this, this is something you do every day. And this is something that instead of it being a norm for you, getting your hands on soil or your feet on soil, it can be actually a, um, a mindful practice where you're engaging with that soil and engaging in that connection with the earth in a more aware state. So actually consciously saying, hey, 
I'm handling this beautiful soil from Mother Earth and it, letting it ground your energy as you do the work that you do with that soil. Um, and walking around barefoot may not happen in 20 inches of snow, but you can walk barefoot in the house and really connect to any natural materials that are in wherever you live. Um, wood floors, um, you know, wood is a great, great, great grounding um, practice. Another one, this is super present for me as I just came back from the Tucson Gym Show, is holding stones. So really grounding stones are things like hematite, which is high in iron, uh, petrified wood. Um, actually on this ranch, there's been pieces found, which is fossilized wood, um, black tourmaline, black obsidian, a lot of the dark earthier toned crystals are really good for helping us ground and get connected to earth's energy to balance our nervous system so if you have any of those you can hold them in your hands you can put them in your pockets you can sleep with them um, on your body or next to you or your bed this is all um, helpful energy and uh, grounding and getting the body to really balance balance out and then thirdly, and this for this video, lastly, we have a um, meditation practice that allows us to really connect to the earth's energy um, with just coming through this guided meditation. And this was passed to me um, orally from a teacher, so I'm not really sure where the source is, but it's been passed to me um, through a lineage of my Reiki training. So I'm going to give it to you, and you may have heard it before, but I want to offer it because it's such an incredibly empowering way, and it can take only a few minutes to get us connected to Earth's energy and really bring the energy down away from the head. So if you um, engage with me in this meditation, um, I think you'll find a big shift in energy at the end of it. So finding your way into a comfortable seated position with your feet on the floor, or if you're on the floor directly, really connecting to the, the surface beneath you um, through the base of the spine. Feeling that connection through the root, the base of the spine, or through the feet to the floor. Finding alignment in the spine, getting the shoulders over the hips, reaching through the crown, and then starting to deepen the breath. Breathing deeply, elongating the breath. And after you elongate the breath and deepen the breath into the low belly filling all the way up to the nose and throat and exhaling fully from the low belly all the way up i invite you to imagine a type of root coming out of the base of the spine the back of the legs out of the feet and for those of you who work with plants, you may be able to imagine a taproot very easily. For those of us who um, that concept is new, the taproot is the first shoot that comes out of the base of the seed and it starts to weave its way and anchor the seed into the soil. So for us, let's imagine that as a beam of light coming out of the base of our spine. It can be white light, it can be red light, whatever color is serving you in this moment to feel grounded and stable. And allow that taproot to start to weave back and forth through the surface that you're sitting on, weaving back and forth through the floor of the building you're in, weaving back and forth through the foundation of the building and the soil, 
And with each exhale, allow this taproot, this root system coming from the base of your body to weave deeper and deeper and deeper into the earth, working its way down into all the layers of earth's core, I mean, earth's crust to the earth's core. Breathing in that life force giving energy of Mother Earth. And exhale and shed any energy, any thoughts that no longer serve. Letting that energetic exchange, inhaling life force from the earth. Exhale, shedding all that no longer serves into the earth allowing the earth to use its magic power of taking compost of taking literal crap and transmuting that energy into life force giving energy to something else this is one of the beautiful powers of earth is that compost system it feeds and creates new life for other things so as we shed the earth receives transmute and then we inhale more and more the earth's life force visualizing that root system all the way into the earth core thanking the earth for her magic powers of being able to transform and transmute energy continuing to exhale and shed any anxiety any energy any thoughts that no longer serve and allow this beautiful cycle of inhale exhale to continue mirroring all the cycles of nature inhale exhale And as we sit in this meditation, you may or may not be able to hear that out here in Texas, the circle of coyotes are communicating to each other. Just a reminder of another one wonderful part of Mother Earth's nature and all the organisms that are part of her. So when you're ready, slowly assess how your nervous system is. Now that you've engaged with Mother Earth, engage with the cycles of nature, engage with this earth rooting energy on an energetic level instead of just physical by actually connecting to the earth. When we set our intention to visualize and connect with earth's energy, it happens. That's how powerful intention is. So when you feel your nervous system is calm and you're in your state of social, normal, calm energy, I invite you to thank Mother Earth for all of her gifts and all of her nurture and for taking the energy, the thoughts that no longer serve and transmuting them into life force. And when, it, when you're ready and when it serves you, I invite you to flutter your eyes open and just feel the shift, the magic shift that has happened in your own energy body, your own physical body, your own mental body, your emotional body, and most certainly your energetic body. So I hope this Mindful Monday serves you about earthing and grounding. And I will be coming to you again next week with a different topic. Um, and we'll stay with these systems and these quick little tools to help take care of ourselves and increase our mindfulness and our awareness of our own energy. Have a great rest of your week, everyone. Thanks again.